Welcome to the video, guys. I want to thank all of you for coming out and watching this video, first of all. Second of all, I'm going to introduce this video 100%. This is my guide on how to become a War Thunder Pro in less than one hour. And I know a lot of you are going to be saying, Gardev, how, how are you going to do that? I see players with thousands of hours. You yourself have 1.8K. And you're definitely not a pro. I see War Thunder YouTube with every single nation fully decked out. And you know, you are right there. And I'm not talking about like a pro with all the good vehicles with that top tier. I'm talking about a pro in skill. And this will make your, uh, your run to top tier extremely easy comparatively to the people around you. But unfortunately, you will have to grind a top tier yourself. That is not this video. This is not a grinding guide. This is a guide just on how to get the skills of a pro, let's say, to make it more clear. Now, as you guys can see, that guy just fired. We got his auto loader. It's not a good shot, but we definitely did get a shot and that's kind of a sub tip I guess before I get into the pro list don't go rushing into full active areas if you do that of course your stabilizer will stop working or your stabilizer won't be there at all and you'll just get screwed so don't do that number one never rely on your teammates I see so many people and myself included we don't follow this rule we kind of rely on our teammates and boom it's even worse than having bots for teammates sometimes because you think, oh, I can rely on them. Really, it's not. You're low. Unfortunately, that is the truth of what's under. No one is going to help you. Now, normally, in a tank match, right? In real life, let's say, you'd have a friendly who would be right there with you. And they'd be kind of your buddy. They'd just be there to keep you alive. We see it in fighter jets, we see it in tanks, we see it in pretty much every single military operation there is. You always have a second. Because if you don't, well, you're kind of screwed. In War Thunder, your second is number one, entirely untrained. As you guys can see, I don't even have one here, but a lot of the time you will. Because they're entirely untrained. And if you don't guess that they're really bad, they're going to make it so much worse for you. Because everyone in the end has the goal of grinding the tech trees. Everyone in the battles, even your level 100 marshals, will not have 100% of their tech trees finished. They might only have one. That's kind of where I am right now. I have one about finished, and I'm about to be level 100. I'm level 72, but... At the rate I'm going, I'm going to be level 100 far before I finish the U.S. Tech Tree 100%. So, just, it doesn't make much of a measure. It's just said I've played the game through the tutorial. That's what I've kind of measured it for. And if you rely on a teammate, they are for sure going to stab you in the back. There's nothing that will stop them from doing it. Got that guy. Ooh, weak armor there. There's nothing that will stop them from stabbing you directly in the back and having no second thoughts. And if you go in the chat, they won't listen to you. They'll annoy you. You died, they didn't. That's plain simple fact. Now you see right there, I have a teammate sitting on the hill. <laughs> And there he is, that's his unit. He didn't mark that enemy once. And he for well know. He well knew that there was a guy there. He knew a hundred percent. Without doubt that there was an enemy there, and he let me die. And he just kind of went along with it. It he didn't like if we look at his uh stats right now. What was his username? Paul. He's third. Wait, no, that wasn't there. It's the light tank ahead of him. Whatever. Good. 
But so your teammates can cause you trouble, and there's nothing else they will do. That is literally how 100 teammates work. And if you think that they are going to help you at all, you are going to die. That is hit number one. <coughs> Moving on to hit number two. Keep your silver in your eye. Now, for a lot of you with less than 100 hours and more than it, which is, I'm guessing, the majority of you watching the video, although, actually, I'd say the instant you watch a video, you have to be over 100. So I'd say under 2,000, over 100, probably going to be watching this video. Uh, comment your hours down below. I'd really find it funny to see if everyone watching my video has way more hours than I do. But you are going to have a amount of silver that you start with. And a lot of the time, this silver is kind of hard to keep up. Which you can see with me, always being at zero silver in my videos. And as beginners, you may not see this quite yet. A silver at the beginning is kind of, it's, it's simpler, you know? You don't have as much to deal with. It's a little bit easier. I'm gonna fire a hellfire on that guy. Okay, that was kind of useless. Stop diving on the floor, hellfires. I haven't got my radar. I think they. Yeah, they did. Is this guy moving really slowly or am I just capping myself? And I'm just capping myself or something like that. That might be solid. Nah. Oh, watch. We should really not mess with that. That he knows where we are. Which isn't ideal, but we did dodge it. So yeah, going back to your silver, your silver is going to be very important in the game. It's probably the limiting factor I have. It will most likely be the limiting factor that all of you have eventually. And this is because your average MBT costs 1,500,000 silver. And for all of you guys, I want you to look at your silver right now. That number is, let's say, above 3 million right now. Disregard this hint. Go down in the video chapters, skip to the next one. Because you have found the correct mix. <coughs> and there's really nothing I can do to tell you different. Now, if you have, let's say, less than that, I would very much, very much encourage you to listen to this guy. Because, obviously, there's something to learn. And while we both may not be the best at writing silver, I have some certain strategies that help me get hundreds of thousands of silver very easily. Now, some of these tactics are simple, like in my silver grinding video, just finding the biggest modifier, finding the place you're best at playing, and just playing that out. Oh my gosh. Some of these things are a bit harder, such as ones like use wagers, which requires some decent skill, as they require you to be like 5-7 DR for a lot of nations, and get 5-10 to 10 kills a match. In real estate, that's only like 3, because of the times you multiplier, but it's still fairly difficult for a lot of players. So yeah, that's pretty much how you get silver. Uh, anything else is going to be clickbait on YouTube, do not listen to it. That is your simple how you get silver. Number three. This is my third hint. And that is know your armor. Whoa, Captain Estonia. W. <laughs> hey, multiple guys in America. Good old America. But yeah, third hint is know your armor. And I'm in a tiger, so you guys will know if you have played War Thunder at all. That the Tiger has some really, really special armor configuration that really requires you to know how to play it to be a 
effective. Now, now I'm very lucky to have this enemy. <coughs> the tiger isn't really very special from the front. A hundred and let's say fifty millimeters of armor on that front flat plate. And that's really it. You've got some armor on the front of the turret, obviously. But otherwise, it's not really that special. It's not anything like the AV one or stuff like that. Wow, that's a gun right there. I guess we are heavy. Oh, that's a... That's a thing. I think he might not have to fail, so... M18, here I come. You rest. Get two tigers on him and he's dead. I just fired. Uh. Now, the thing keeping me alive is this tiger is really the angling of my armor, which is very special in the tiger. It's really one of the only vehicles that has to do this. But you have to know that. And to know it, you kind of have to do some And if you do, this this thing will make you live even against these seven O tanks, the biggest guns you could ever imagine. And I'm just sucking it oily. So don't take this as like what's gonna happen to you. But we need a good angle on this guy. And he's done. We just stopped a seven dot gun, I believe. Or maybe a six dot three? No. Seven dot three? It's seven O or seven dot three. And it just ooh, absolutely denied did not exist to us. Uh, that same with that Sherman. Just did not exist. And now, what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? <laughs> but yes, you know this about your armor, and you know this about your opponent's armor. So you guys saw me deflecting off of that poor M46. We couldn't do anything about it because of our armor angle. And that's because I wasn't hitting the right spot. Now, I do know the spot on that. He was kind of intelligent trying to hide it from me. But it is those little kind of pockets on the front sides. Which are very, very, very soft uh, compared to the rest of the tank. This applies for almost everything in the game. So, make sure to know your armor in this. Although at the reserve tiers, honestly, it doesn't really matter if armor does armor does not really exist. <coughs> and I think for my la final tip, I'm going to go with map positioning. And this tip may not seem as important as it actually is. But believe me, I've seen so many people fall prey to bad positioning. So as you guys can see, we've got some sort of Sherman right here. And he is shooting on top of the Tiger. That is not ideal for that Tiger. He is very lucky that he had me as a teammate. And very, very thick armor if you correctly. Now, was that guy the guy that said thank you? Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Just got in here, I don't know what to say. Okay, is that a jumbo Sherman? Ah, this is a very good example of armor. So I don't think he had it. That's a good thing. Because if he did, I think he's pretty much well off. Ah, there we go. So maybe I can kind of try No, I just do this trash one. 
He knew what he was trying to do. Is that a bomb on him? Oh, me. W. I guess I'm gonna make this. What the heck kind of cheese, I guess. Uh, watch out for bombs. You have a cast that doesn't end in this game. While you may be invincible on the ground, but the majority of tanks, you are not with this guy. Okay. This entire battle, the chat has been pro Trump. This entire battle, like it's it's pretty bad. I'm gonna have to edit it all out. Are, are you saying this is a uh, Rome? This is a Rome thing? Uh, governed by the chosen one. Oh my gosh, I just failed to get a barrel. Unfortunate, sir. Oh, I guess that'll be a fourth tip. Uh, just do everything cheesy. If you can, make it as cheesy as possible. That means, I don't care, cannon barrels, tracks, machine guns, anything you need to disable to survive. War Thunder will let you disable. And this is a way I see a lot of higher tier players get annoyed, die, and kind of scream in chat. Because obviously, this tank is very formidable on its own. It can kill a lot of things, including like that tiger. But as soon as barrel's done, he has nothing he can do. Since I believe with a barrel or a breech gun, there are two things that can shut down a main gun but like that. It just means he can't reload. And that thing's got a absolute beastly reload. So make sure to cheese your opponents at any point. Do not kind of have morals in this game. I know do not have morals is kind of an interesting thing to say to people. But it's worth it. No one has morals. Understand it. Murder people. <laughs> so look at this guy. He's stuck. He's gonna look at me. And he's gonna die. There's nothing I'm going to give him about it. He's just going to die. And there's... He's either dead to that guy or me. So I'm gonna say me. Oh, nope. He said that guy. But that guy shot me first, so I was inherently correct. In kind of conclusion this guide, War Thunder is a game that seems extremely complex on the outside, but once you start playing it, it gets very, very simple. And I think that even from rock bottom, one hour is all you need to become a full pro at anything War Thunder. Regardless of not having the top tier vehicles or the top tier experience by like just time, you will have the top tier tips and that is all you need. <clears throat> be scrappy. Be wary. Be strong. And just have a wonderful time. Thank you all for watching. This has been Garda 3D. Please go subscribe to the channel. And like the video if it has been helpful. <coughs> Peace out.